Okay, hey, hey, hey. I have been. Wait a minute, what was that? A chest! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh, oh no, oh no, no, no. What the heck is this? No! Please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Hello everyone, and what you just saw, saw there was a display of the Atom Mod. And basically what this mod adds is a whole new dimension and a ton of awesome mods and a couple other sweet features. So basically what you do is in survival mode, you have to find a block of sandstone, place that sandstone here, figure out how to craft it this here thing right here and then what you do is uh, you let you right click it right on the block of sandstone and look at this it made this awesome scale structure but then what you do is then you click it again and a portal hmm I wonder where that portal will go why don't we take a look see and it messed up a little bit okay why don't we take a look see come on whoa whoa and this is Egypt or the Adam world and as you can see there's a ton of different creatures in here and the problem is, is every single one of these is hostile well first thing you notice is that there is a new tree that this adds and that is a palm tree and they got the palm sapling right here and grow it with bone it can only be grown on strange sand and dirt but then grow that yeah and it has a fruit on it called a a date yeah if you middle click it you get a date block and you can actually place it and so yeah and that's a food you can eat it and so once you come in here you should have a lot of good stuff because these things will attack you and so I think what I'm gonna do is go through all the mobs one by one very quickly save the best for last I missed something what did I miss uh, oh no I didn't so first is the mummy this thing is the main mob that this mobs that this adds I mean it's a mummy and yeah awesome next is the bringid these are the main creatures you're gonna see in here and yeah they are hostile they will attack you with this Next is the Nomad. This thing has this bow right here that it will shoot you with. And I'm going to save that one for last. Next is the Forsaken. This thing is like a skeleton and it will attack you. Next is the Wrath. I think this can, this can fit into one block space. And yes, it will attack you. Pretty powerful, very magical as you can see if it's hovering. And a Tomb Guard. This thing is one of the most powerful creatures, except for the pharaoh, which I'll show you later. Then the desert wolf. These things are hostile. Have the health of a regular wolf. And then the warlord. This thing is just like a, one of these, except a little bit more powerful. As you can see, his scepter is enchanted. And last but not least, a pharaoh, which you will find in a pyramid. And the only way to find them is there's two chests cursed chests you'll find these little dungeon type things all over the there's one right there these dungeon type things these cursed chests will randomly spawn creatures when you go up to them and then you have to kill the creatures or at least knock them way far away in order to open the chest so now I might be able to open it quick and then uh, yeah so that's the cursed chest and then Pharaoh's chest you'll find these in pyramids and yeah, they spawn a pharaoh along with two other mummies. So I'm just going to run away from him. This adds a bow. Yeah, awesome. It adds the scimitar, which is basically what that one guy holds. It adds these tools, which can only be uh, 
received by pharaohs, I think at least. And yeah, there's no way to get other enchantments rather than this unless you use like the too many items mod. And these are also tools. Limestone is a stone around here, so you can also create like limestone furnaces. And then uh, they also have these armors, uh, flax seeds, and then flax flowers. And then they have the mummy wrap. The only thing is, is this the head wrap is kind of like a pumpkin. See, it, it kind of looks like this. I mean, it doesn't really do anything to help you. It just kind of disables you. So, yeah. If you're thinking that you're going to look like a mummy, think again. And, yeah, you also got these armor scepters. They, they do a lot of damage, I guess. And so, yeah, now I'm going to show you a special block. Well, first of all, there's a no-name one. I have no clue what that is. First of all, uh, there is a lot of shrubs. And second of all, this. You will see this very commonly in pyramids. This scene right here, and there's no way to go around it, well, try to jump over it, because if you go into it, you will catch on fire. And so there's also crystal glass, which I think you can get by burnt smelting uh, the sand here. Yeah, and so that's basically all that this mod adds. I'm not sure if you can write in scrolls or if you can place them down. Maybe you can put them on walls. Yeah, so, yeah. Thank you very much for watching this mod review. Time for an awesome exit. Remember that the Reaper is watching you!